Okay, YouTube got my airtight box out here where I can work on it to place the ends here. You can see they fit right in there. Uh, the spools are normally about 8 inch diameter, so what I did, give it a little bit of room, I measured down from the top 5 inches, and then I made myself a little jig that just fits in here, marked the center, and then just traced the line, and put this on the outside to mark the holes, and these are, this is sized for 3 millimeter hex nuts and the way you put that on is you stick this on the inside you run the screws through from the outside and put the nuts on on the inside so okay you got one uh, end on I need to flip that around and repeat on the other side and then we can cut the rod to length and let me show you the information on the uh, box here. Yeah so this is the Sterilite gasket box I guess is what they call it I think Oh, this is even bigger, 80 quarts, 76 liter. I bought the biggest one they had. But yeah, 24 long, 18 wide, 15 high. There's the uh, dimensions. So anyway, I'll show you what it looks like uh, when I get the ready to put the rod in there. So that's the next step. Yeah, and this is how I mark the uh, place for my hanger as I come down from the top, just round my tape measure down five inches. And I have a little uh, piece of cardboard here, and I just draw a line across, and then there's the center mark. So I just run that up and down a little bit. Just put that on there, line up the crosses through there, mark them with pen, and then drill them. Eighth inch or three millimeter hole. Okay, I think we got the rod cut to length here. I did about 19 and a half inches. That gives you just enough room to clear the head of the nut on either end. So it just comes out and then it kind of snaps into place. So I think that works good. Let's put a few spools on there, see what it looks like. Okay, YouTube, I think that'll work. So I've got two regular spools in there. I've got room for a third one right in the middle. And then I've got my nylon over on the far end, on the left there. So yeah, I think that'll work pretty good. So let me show you what it looks like when I get these laid out, figure out where to put those, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I just used a piece of masking tape, ran across the bottom, and that's just the right spacing if you run the holes uh, horizontally like that. So I just kind of eyeballed about the middle of each uh, spool, and then you kind of have to work around the clasp because I wanted the holes up as high as I could and those still everything still works there so it should clear so I guess I just got to get my screws out and screw the ones I have on there the one thing I did with these I guess they're set up for a three millimeter guide tube I have a three but I also have some four millimeter tube so I drilled the uh, center out with a four millimeter bit just so it's be able to fit my guide tube in there I figure I'd better do that before I install them. So that should get her done. So I'll show you what it looks like when I get it finished here. Okay, I got the four pass-throughs over here on this side. And the last step you have to do is I've got a two millimeter bit here and I need to uh, drill through there. So that'll leave a hole for the filament to come in. I'll probably go on the back side here and open that hole up a bit. Get a pilot bit to open up the hole just so it's uh, easier to feed the filament in. So anyway, back to work. I'll show you what it looks like when I get her finished here. Okay, there we go. Got the filament passed through here. I'll just plug my filament guide tube material for by two millimeter Teflon tube. So I can just leave each uh, filament just sticking out a little bit here. And then, you know, you'll use this to feed into the extruder. So like when you want to change filament, you'll have to get in here and spin the uh, roll back to uh, pull the filament out of the guide tube. And then you'll take your next one and feed it out here. So you can feed the second one through 
here, 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 or I've got the fourth one over there for my nylon, way on the end. So I've got plenty of room down here for um, filament storage, so any open spools I have I can keep in here. I'll see if I can get this finished up tomorrow, getting a little late today. So I'll call her quits for tonight, and we'll uh, take it upstairs tomorrow and see if we can finish up to mount this one to the back of the printer and then get the uh, filament filter in there and then I got to print a couple more of these that's the first first project is print some more of these things so can... and put one there one on the other side and then I've got this one for the back of the printer so yeah I'll show you what that looks like when I get there uh, thanks for watching